So after sorting out the issue with the alternative roof from my previous review, the install continued. At this point, the original roof was off, and since work cannot be done over the Labor Day weekend, my roof was spared for several days until Tuesday, when the crew came back to continue work. So far, these were only local roofers people, and not people from Tesla, and it took them a couple more days to install the regular shingles. They discovered some dry rot, which needed to be replaced, which supposedly was something I had to pay for out of pocket, and got the city inspector to come by to okay everything. By Wednesday, which was the fourth day into the install, a Tesla van made its first appearance while the local roofers were still working. Apparently, the Tesla van came to drop off some items on my front yard. I assumed these were the valuable solar tiles, and I'm very surprised that they were not afraid of theft. Fortunately, nothing was stolen, despite boxes clearly labeled Tesla, which I imagine would get the attention of local thieves. So once the local roofers were done installing the shingles around the fifth day, it was two truckloads of Tesla roofers coming at seven every day until the end of installation. It was around 10 people or so. There's not much to talk about in terms of the install, since I don't know what they were doing other than install a roof, quote unquote. I would say that you could expect loud noises from hammering, sawing, and things like that. House shaking noises, but I was able to keep working inside the house despite of this, and um, having virtual meetings would be hard though. So this continued for the next six days. Also, what you can anticipate is that things will be everywhere. Backyard, front yard, side yard, driveway, and the roofers will be all over, all over the place as well. They just need a lot of space for machines to cut tiles and space to put stuff. By this point, my front yard had a porta potty since day one, boxes of stuff, and my backyard had what looked like a cutter of some sort and there was a ladder with some electrical lift. I guess it's to transport the heavy solar tiles up to the roof, and it's hard for them to remove nightly. So I had to give them access to electricity. So because this is blocking my driveway, I had to not park in my garage for over a week, and consequently parked in front of my house, which turned out to be a bad idea because of the nails on the roof, and apparently because of this, I got a punctured tire, which I had to fix. Um, anyways, I also left ladders on my side yard. In essence, the house is a full-blown construction zone. As such, they do tape off your house with yellow caution tape. And for this reason, I was not able to get mail for over a week. And getting in and out of the house was a challenge. As once I open the door to go anywhere, I'm greeted by the yellow caution tape. It's an inconvenience, but everybody was very nice. And upon seeing you, they'll yell, stop work. And everybody stops until you're at a safe distance and then they'll continue to work. By the sixth day, they were done. It was a Saturday um, where they came back to do minor touch-ups of painting silver flashings black to match the color of the roof and shingles. Um, they showed me the new inverter boxes and told me which lever controlled what and how to turn the system on. They also told me the system already automatically sends stats to Tesla so that if they discover any anomalies, such as the panel suddenly generating less than a certain percentage of electricity than usual, they will send someone out to fix it. With this monitoring capability, they were already able to see it generating over 2 kilowatts at the time, which was early afternoon given my 3.98 kilowatt system. And in terms of maintenance, they advised me not to try to clean it myself as going on the solar towels would be slippery as if walking on glass, and typically spraying it with water is good enough to wash off the pollen and things. And if worse comes to worse, they will send someone to help clean it. And speaking of clean, they did a thorough job cleaning up everything. And for the next few days, someone came by to remove all the boxes in my front yard. And the city inspector subsequently came by for the final inspection. Apparently, there were two permits, one for the electrical system and one for the roof. After passing that, the field manager returned out of the blue one day to give me a Tesla solar gateway, which is something you plug into your router to send additional stats to Tesla. Meanwhile, my project advisor sent the application pg and &E and got confirmation today that it's been approved, so that took around two weeks. And by the way, I know I mentioned this several times in my review, but it was only after the installation that they asked me to pay. 
And yes, I was able to pay with a credit card through PayPal. Um, I didn't have to pay for the dry rot I mentioned about. So ultimately, it costs 19000 some odd dollars with around a $3,000 expected credit from uh, tax credit. And also, doing anything with the gutter was optional. So if you decide now while the roofing is done, changing the gutter would be easier given they don't nail down stuff. And in theory, if you replace gutters down the line, it will be more costly. So I had my gutters replaced for around $3,000. So overall, I would say the roof install has been a positive experience. Definitely anticipate noise, random people, stuff showing up at your house, inconvenience in terms of no mail and getting in and out of your house, especially if you have kids since they do throw stuff down from the roof. Anyways, if you found this useful and you wish to buy something from Tesla, please use my affiliate link below. And now in terms of the results, I'm not sure. I haven't gotten my first bill yet with the solar roof, so I can only comment on the look. Looking at my house, I don't see solar tiles. I only see newer asphalt shingles of a different color than before. So the biggest change for me is that now my roof is black instead of brown. And sometimes I feel the itch to look at the solar tiles so I have to walk farther away to get a good angle of the roof, which is hard because it's pretty much on top of a hill. And it just looks weird with the mixture of shingles and solar tiles. I don't know. It kind of looks modern on top, but regular from the front. Could have been a regular solar panel given the top of my roof is kind of out of sight. I will do another review to let you know if there's any leaks and things like that. Thanks for watching, um, hit subscribe just because.